Good evening, New Dawn. And welcome to our second Friday night service of the year. We are glad you are here with, it, with us, whether you're uh, physically in the room or streaming with us online. Welcome. Just a reminder, if you're up uh, walking about, please be wearing your mask. But otherwise, if you are seated, you may feel free to take it off and enjoy the service that way. So let's pray and get started. God, again, we are just thankful that we can come here and worship you because you are worthy. We thank you and praise your name, Jesus. Amen.
get an answer we're gonna have a good night of worship tonight that's what I have planned for on the agenda is worship God often God does not derail that agenda Holy 
lift up holy song as they seek the Lord of heaven on their knees. The preachers, the elders, the angels listen in, and they marvel at how we worship Him. The church below begins to lift up holy song as they seek the Lord of heaven on their knees. The preachers, the elders, the angels listen in, and they marvel at how we worship Him. The heavens open, erected by the King, all of heaven worships Him with
affection could never earn it. You give what we don't deserve, and you take the broken things and raise them to glory. Thanks for asking, Ron. Appreciate that. I got an email this week from Miss Deborah that said, I have a new song that I wrote, and we worked on it, and it's really good. So we're going to, she wrote it, she sings it, she plays, she plays the drums. Nope, not that part. <laughs> what? Thank you. 
what joy shall fill my heart I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim my God how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou Take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration and there proclaim, My God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. My soul, my Savior, God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Awake, my glory, awake, lute, lute and harp. I will awaken the new dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing to you among the nations. For your mercy reaches unto the heavens and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Yes, be exalted, O Jesus. How great you are. How great you are, Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you tonight for all that you do. We thank you that we can praise you and exalt your name above all the earth because of what you've done on the cross and dying for us and taking away our sin that we might forever have fellowship with you how great you are Jesus how great you are Jesus In your name amen amen thank you Jesus all right well good evening I want to welcome everyone again to the service tonight, both those that are here and those that are streaming with us. Remember last week, Randy had started on the uh, going over the basics and the doctrines and all. And as he was talking then, you know, he talked on 
some of the things or the differences with, you know, the creation and evolution and probabilities. And that just struck in my mind at that, that point. Uh, something that I'd read recently is called the Boltzmann brain. Has anyone ever heard of that term before, the Boltzmann brain? Beth raised her hand. I guess she's really into that type of stuff on her own. But <laughs> but anyway, it's a it's an interesting uh, concept or rabbit hole uh, that started with this thought experiment by a guy named Ludwig uh, uh, Boltzmann, who was a 19th century uh, physicist. And uh, the thing, he was really well known for uh, studying entropy or how things, you know, change over time. And go from a state of order more toward disorder. Um, but he had this concept that because of, you know, all the things that change around or the quantumness of it, um, that if you had enough time, you know, and just all the random things and how they come together, entropy, that if you gave enough time, a brain could spontaneously come on to come into existence on its own with all the memories that are out there. And it gets into that probabilities where, you know, people are saying, looking at all the complexity around, that it actually could be more uh, probable that something like that would happen than actually seeing the reality around of what we exist. And uh, it's, it's definitely one of those rabbit hole topics. And a lot of scientists actually say that this fails the Monty Python test because it's too silly to even discuss seriously. <laughs> but it was going back toward, you know, the, the whole improbability of everything or trying to explain things without God. And in my mind, too, it's like you look at how he's stating it, it's completely taking away the, the spiritual nature of what we have. You know, we as people aren't just made up of atoms and molecules and all that. It's like we're made up of body, soul, and spirit. There's a component that God puts in us that cannot be replicated no matter how long you have, no matter how many uh, infinite universes or infinite time or anything else. It never could get past that material aspect. You know, and that's what God has created us. God created us special. We are special beings. So, Lord, we again thank you for your creation. Thank you that we can be part of what you've done and what you've created and that we are special and that you love us. We thank you for that in your name, Jesus. Amen.